loining of tuna before sale is an easy way of adding value to the fish. The method shown in this video is known as the hanging technique. It is used in French Polynesia by fish retailers and also directly on board freezer tuna longliners. This video was filmed in 1999 during an SPC workshop at Seltrack Holdings in Fiji. The workshop was conducted by Coco, an experienced Tahitian fish cutter from the company Vini Vini. Before loining a tuna, you must first make sure you have a clean workspace and the right tools. You will need a filleting knife, a skinning knife, a serrated knife and a meat hook. For this technique, you will also need a hook to hang the fish by the tail to make the initial cuts. Fish usually come to the cutter already gilled and gutted, or G and G. On longline vessels, tuna are often headed as well and brought to the processing room headed and gutted, or H and G. To hang the fish, a tail rope must be choked around the tail of the fish, forming a loop. The fish are then hung by their tail on a hook that is suspended from the ceiling or overhead. Some fish cutters in Tahiti prefer to cut the half loins away while the fish is lying on the cutting table. This is especially favoured if the weather is rough and the boat is rocking. The hanging method is one most often used by fish cutters in Tahiti, but the basics are the same and the end result is identical. The first step after hanging the fish is to remove the head if it hasn't been done already. The head, pectoral girdle and pelvic girdle are removed in one piece. This is done in four cuts using a large serrated knife. One of the pectoral fins is used as a handle to steady the fish while the cuts are made. The first cut is made just behind the pelvic fins going at a 45 degree angle downwards. The same cut is done on the two pectoral fins. Lastly, a chopping cut is made on the top of the head, going down to the level of the spine. As this cut is made, the head is snapped away from the frame by pulling on one of the pectoral fins. The frame with two half loins is left hanging for the next cuts. The dorsal and anal fins and finlets are then cut away. This is also done with a large serrated knife. For the dorsal fins and finlets, this is pretty much a straight cut that removes the fins and finlets, but not much flesh. The fins and finlets are pulled away with one hand in one long strip as they are cut. The second dorsal fin is used as a handle in this case. When the anal fin and the finlets are removed, the belly flap is also cut away at the same time. The anal fin is used as a handle until the cut reaches the gut cavity. The strip of fin and finlets is then pulled while the belly flap is cut away on either side. The fins are all discarded, but the belly flap is retained and usually sold separately on shore or given to the crew on the boats. After the fins and finlets have been removed, the half loins are cut away from the frame down to the backbone, but not all the way. The filleting knife is used for this cut. This knife is also sometimes called a fish splitter. Care needs to be taken that the cut is as close to the bone as possible. The next step is to insert a meat hook into the half loin going right into the lateral line, the middle line on the side of the fish. The meat hook should not penetrate the good flesh, but should be stuck into the area where there is dark muscle and pin bones. It should enter about one third of the way down from the tail end of the fish, but pointing upwards. The long serrated knife is used to cut through the pin bones, while the meat hook is used to pull the half loin away from the frame at the same time. The half loin is then gently laid on a clean cutting board on a table. The process is then repeated for the half loin on the other side. The frame should be clean with no flesh left on the bones. A skinning knife is then used to remove the skin from the half loin. This is done with the skin side facing up. The skin is cut away in pieces, not all at once. Each piece is held in one hand and pulled away as the knife slices as close as possible under the skin. The skinned half loins is then turned over on the table. Rib bones and any leftover belly lining are cut away from the lower quarter loin. 
and separated into two quarter loins using the skinning knife. The pin bones and all dark muscle are then cut away from each quarter loin, again using the skinning knife. It is important to cut away all the dark muscle, sometimes called the bloodline, without removing any white flesh. This takes lots of practice and must be done with care. The result is four perfect quarter loins. The next step is to wrap the quarter loins in plastic wrap. This helps protect the fish from contamination and makes it easier to blast freeze. When done by an experienced fish cutter, the hanging technique will give higher yields than other methods. After using this technique, one plant in Fiji increased their yield by 5%. It may help your operation improve its profitability too.